Okay, this is going to be um, a very in-depth look at I Could Have Lied by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. After this, um, you should be able to play every single part of it in the right order, um, except for the solos. And I will also um, show the rhythm part when the solos are playing. Um, I'll do this quite slowly, I'll break it up into sections and then uh, show how the sections go in order. So this will probably be quite a long video. Um, so, here goes the opening riff. Okay, now it's um, an open second string hammer on to the second fret. And then it's an open third string hammer on to the same fret on the second string. So second fret, second string. So it's, and it's open third hammer on the second. So what you're doing is you're striking the second string and then the third string, but you're hammering on to the same fret with the same finger. Okay, and that's that's the basics of the first riff. So it's and that's the fourth fret on the third string. The next part of it is the second string, second fret, and then open third and then fourth fret, third string. So it's next part is uh, second string, second string, second fret, open third string, second string, second fret again, and third string, fourth fret. So, so all together. Okay. So when you get to there, it's slide down to the seventh on the third string from the fourth, and then it's the open second and the seventh fret on the third, same time. Then it's fifth fret fourth uh, third string. And then it's the fourth fret, fret, third string, along with the third fret on the first string. And then it's alone the um, fifth fret, second string. And then it's the first string, third fret, along with the fifth fret, second string. So that's. Okay, when you're playing um, after you slide down to the seventh, then the fifth, when you do the fourth, the fourth fret on the third string and the third fret on the first string, what you do is you play all of these strings together, but the second string here is muted by this finger slightly, so it doesn't ring out. So you just you play all three strings, but you only hear the two notes. Right, so let's go through all that. Okay, that's the opening riff. <clears throat> you play that um, six times. Um, at the start of the third time through that riff, we'll call that riff one. At the start of the third time through it, that's when the vocals come in. So, about six times in a row, except on the fifth time, where it does something slightly different. Um, inside the first riff, there's um, a hammer-on and a pull-off on the fifth string between the second and third fret. <laughs> And how that fits in is like this. And what you're doing is you're using uh, your first finger there to bar right down to the fifth string. And then it's back into... So, in total... So that's the fifth time, and then the sixth time is back to the... <clears throat> and then you've got... Um... Now what that is, is you put your first finger on the second string, second fret, and your... Th um... 
first string, your third finger covers the fourth fret on the third, fourth, and fifth strings. So it's um, it'd be like a standard power chord, but you're covering the third, fourth, and fifth strings with your third finger. Well, that's a B. And then you slide all that down so that this finger is now on the second string, fifth fret. So your third finger will then be on the seventh fret, covering the third, fourth, and fifth strings. And that's D. So. And then it's <clears throat> it's kind of an A, an A sus 2 or sus 9, I'm not sure which. Um, the first finger is on the first string, fifth fret. The third finger is on the second string, seventh fret. Your fourth finger is on the third string, seventh fret. And your middle finger is on the fourth string, sixth fret. And the fifth, the, these two, the, the fifth and sixth strings remain open. So it's not a bar chord, although it's the shape of a bar chord. So you get this. And then you slide it all up in the same shape, up so that it's third, fifth, fifth, and fourth frets. So it sounds like this. <clears throat> and then it's back to six times of riff one. Only the first time you did it, um, the fifth time had the this time it's the first time that the riff does it. So straight out of the you get this. Okay. Um, the other parts of the songs um, that was this is the pre-chorus. Then then there's the actual chorus. Um, which is an E minor, G, uh, D and C. Now, this E minor starts on the second string, seventh fret, with your first finger. Then it's the um, third string, ninth fret, fourth string, ninth fret, fifth string, eighth fret. And you do, then you use this finger sits down and covers at the bottom. So that's a bar chord there. So you're covering the seventh fret on the sixth string with the knuckle kind of thing of your first finger. <clears throat> that's an E minor. Then the next chord is it's the same idea um, as the pre-chorus on the B, but it's it's a power chord just the same. And it is on the first finger is on the second string, tenth fret and your third finger covers the twelfth fret on the fourth, fifth and sixth strings. So you see that's the twelfth fret there. That's a G. And then we go up to the D here, <coughs> which is first finger on the uh, tenth fret, third finger on the twelfth fret, fourth finger on the third string, twelfth fret, and your, your middle finger on the fourth string, eleventh fret. And your first finger here is covering the ten frets all the way down. And then that shape stays the same. And you slide it towards the nut two frets again. So you've got fret 8, fret 10, fret 10, fret 9. And you've got fret 8 again with these two strings at the bottom, which your, your finger is still playing. And that sounds a bit like this. You play that twice, and uh, then I believe after you've done that, the uh, guitar solo starts, and so on, you know how it goes. Um, meanwhile, you play a bar of B minor, followed by half a bar of A and half a bar of G, and you do that four times, so it sounds like this.
that was twice, you'd play it four times.